Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. I want to come on here and talk about the whole Angela Simmons situation. It was announced that her baby's father, Sutton Tyson, was murdered in Atlanta. So this caused a lot of controversy online. A lot of people are talking about this situation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a news clip where the news is talking about the murder. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest We're of my Trying comments. to find the shooter who killed a man in Southwest Atlanta. Atlanta police called to Jewel Drive just before five o'clock this evening. That's when a man was found dead in the area with apparent gunshot wounds. No word tonight on who pulled the trigger. Homicide detectives are working to learn the circumstances surrounding right. the shooting. We are learning more about the man found shot to death in his driveway. Police say Sutton Tennyson was speaking to someone who drove up. The driver then opened fire during that conversation when it got heated and then took off, sped away. Hope Ford is in the newsroom right now, and Hope Tennyson has a connection to one of the rap industry's pioneers, right? Yeah, that's right. Tennessee is the, fa is the father of Reverend Run Simmons' grandchild and the ex fiance of his daughter, Angela Simmons. Now, Angela Simmons, a reality star in her own right, posted on her page hours after the shooting a picture, picture of Tennyson and her, their son. She says, thank you for leaving behind my greatest gift. I'm hurting. I'm numb. Angela Simmons ends it by saying she promises to hold their son down in every way. Now, police still investigating Tennyson's death. They haven't made an announcement about any suspect or suspect description. Again, Tennyson shot to death in his driveway around 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Of course, we're still trying to get information about the car that the suspect drove off in. All right. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip, okay? So now what's even crazier is this. Now more information is starting to come out about the situation. A lot of people gave Angela the side eye, myself included, when she took to social media to basically talk about the situation. It's like the man hadn't even been dead 24 hours and she was already on social media. Now I get that she's a celebrity and she's famous, but I would just kind of think if something that tragic happened, the last thing in my mind would be social media. So I kind of gave that the side eye. I know a few people said the same thing. But um, with that being said, after she took to social media and she made that post, somebody who was really close to Sutton came out and they were speaking about Angela Simmons and saying that she was being fake, okay? Now, the guy who's talking about um, Angela Simmons is Regine's ex-boyfriend, Josh. So before Regine got with Wayne Fellucci, she was dating this dude named Josh. They were really close. You see them in the car rapping together and everything else. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. Go ahead and check this out. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that video of Regine and Josh. So Josh is really close friends to Sutton Tyson. And so when he saw what Angela Simmons posted on Instagram, it did not sit well with him at all. He took to his Instagram live and he went off, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey y'all, this shit gotta get better. We gotta stop hating each other, you feel me? I mean, like hating on the next nigga, man. And you feel me? Falling out with your nigga about petty shit, man. Y'all need to get this shit together, bro. Real shit. And, and for the, like, every time somebody die, y'all feel like, oh, let post her. Why you don't, a nigga lie, you ain't fuck with a nigga. I feel like shit. Don't post and be fake. Like, niggas in situations trying to get money, pay off goddamn lawyers and shit just so they can see their kid. Then you make it like, ah, oh, we was out. Uh, you feel me? Like, I can't put that fake shit. That fake shit. That Instagram shit. That's that. That's that celebrity shit. Going with all this shit. We know what's really going on. I had a personal conversation with the man. Hey, but I'm doing this shit to see my son. You feel me? So I know what's going on. Don't ask me. I know. I know this shit. You feel me? Man, it's RP to RP to my nigga son though. Man. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw Josh's video. You guys saw what he had to say. And there were even people in the comments section of his video confirming that Angela Simmons was not allowing, you know, Sutton to see the child. And she was just more worried about child support. And she was only getting a certain amount per month anyways. It's not like he was a baller. So anyway, somebody decided to do an interview with Page Six. And this is what Page Six is also reporting about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. So Page Six is saying, it wasn't lovey-dovey. There's a reason people go to court, the source says. 
says Tennyson was paying around twelve fifty a month in child support, but Simmons, the shoe designer and daughter of Run DMC's Rev Run, wanted more money, the source said. He was preparing to bid on child custody before he died. Just four days before Tennyson was killed, the ex-couple were in a Manhattan courtroom on October 30th, the source told The Post. And then they also go on to state, she received temporary custody of Sutton Jr. in July after filing for an order of protection against Tennyson in December 2017. The source said Simmons made domestic violence claims against Tennyson in December when the couple split. Then they go on to say, just ahead of his untimely death, Tennyson was preparing a bid for joint custody while enjoying nightly FaceTimes with his son, the source said. He tried hard to be in his child's life, the source added. Tennyson's attorney, Daniel Notes, said, it's devastating to hear about this tragedy. Mr. Tennyson was a loving father. It's very sad that his son will grow up without him. Simmons lawyer Daniel Lipschitz declined to comment on the matter. Miss Simmons has no comment and thanks the media for respecting her privacy as she grieves the tragic loss of her son's father, he said. All right, so you guys just heard what Page Six is reporting. So I definitely feel like there's more to this story. Like I said, even though I'm not a fan of hers, I'm not going to come out here and be fake and act like now all of a sudden I'm a super fan. I do feel bad for her because that is still tragic to lose somebody that you have a child with. It is still tragic. She still, at the end of the day, lost her ex-fiance, lost her baby's father, and that child is going to grow up without a father, okay? But this entire situation is very interesting because he was already paying twelve fifty a month in child support, and they're saying that she was taking him back to court to get more but my thing is this dude's not some NBA baller he's not in the industry he's not a rapper he was a street dude he sold drugs he was also involved in gang activity okay he did a lot of stuff in the streets so how does she expect him to all of a sudden then be able to pay you know five six seven eight nine ten thousand dollars a month like some of her other celebrity friends were getting this is why I go back to my original video about Angela Simmons about the choice that she chose to make in her child's father you know she chose to have a child with this man she knew he wasn't an industry person. She knew he wasn't making money like a little Romeo or somebody else in the industry. So, you know, then she can't get mad that he can only afford to pay twelve fifty a month, which to me is still a good chunk of money. And we all know at the end of the day, the child wanted for nothing because she, the mother, is rich. So it's not like she actually needed the child support, but I get it. It's principle and it's the point that he needs to pay and financially contribute to the raising of their child, okay? Now, another thing that bothers me with this case is that he was killed on the 30th, the day before Halloween. So, of course, I'm looking at this definitely as satirical. And, you know, there's a lot of things I talk to people about behind the scenes esoterically with this case. And that's how I'm choosing to look at it. You know, um, I feel like this man might have became a headache, you know, to her reputation, to her. And right now, they have nobody in custody. Um, first, it was a killing that happened in his home. Other reports are now saying that it was a drive-by shooting. So who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? The entire situation is crazy, but I'm definitely giving the entire situation the side eye, especially now that his friend is coming out and saying that they didn't have this lovey-dovey relationship and that she was keeping him away from the child. Josh has always kept it real, even when he was with Regine, you know, he did him. So I find it really interesting he's coming out and he's speaking about this and he's addressing Angela Simmons directly. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Rest in peace to him. Nobody deserves to be shot three times in the head. That is crazy to me. But again, I definitely feel like there's definitely more to the story. Some people are saying it was a hit. Other people are saying it was a sacrifice. And then others are saying he did a lot of dirt in the streets. And sometimes when you do a lot of dirt in the streets, things can come back on you. So again, I leave you guys to, you know, speculate and think what you guys want to think. Either way, the entire situation is definitely sad. But, you know, unfortunate tragedy is a wake up call to a lot of young girls about being mindful of who they choose to have children with. Because again, had she stayed with this man, Who's to say that that same tragedy couldn't have befallen Angela Simmons or her baby? You know, thank goodness she got out when she did because had she been with them, they might have came and, you know, took out the whole family and those headlines would have read totally different. And that's just me keeping it all the way 100. I know folks don't want to look at it like that, but it is what it is. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning the death of Angela Simmons' baby's father and now new reports coming out stating that their, you know, relationship was very fractured he was fighting for custody and that Angela Simmons did not allow him to see the child except for FaceTiming on the iPhone. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, 
definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.